Welcome to VIN Number Locations, your go-to channel for all things VIN. We're here to guide you through the maze of numbers and letters that make up your vehicle's unique identification. Whether you're a car enthusiast, a mechanic, or just curious about what those 17 characters on your car mean, this is the place for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content. In today's episode, we're going to uncover the mystery of vehicle identification numbers. So buckle up and let's get started. What is a VIN number and what is the reason behind the alphanumeric VIN code on your vehicle? You've seen it. You might have even used it for car-related paperwork. But do you really know what it means? This code, or VIN number, is more than just a random string of characters. It's a unique fingerprint that tells a story about your vehicle's identity, history, and even its journey from the assembly line. So let's explore the not-so-fascinating world of VINs, from their origins to their importance in today's automotive industry. So, what do the series of numbers and letters on your vehicle mean? These unique identifiers, known as Vehicle Identification Numbers, or VINs, have a rich history tracing back to the early days of the automotive industry, when vehicles were simply identified by car frame numbers. But these were inconsistent and easily tampered with, paving the way for the introduction of the modern VIN system in 1954. As time went on, the VIN system evolved, incorporating more information about the vehicle, such as the manufacturer, model, and engine type. By 1980, the International Organization for Standardization, or ISO, established ISO 3779, a global standard for VINs, consisting of a 17-character structure designed to be consistent across borders. Today's VIN is a wealth of information. The first three characters represent the vehicle's country of origin and manufacturer. Characters 4 to 8 provide details about the vehicle's make, model, and engine type. Characters 10 to 17 are the unique serial number assigned to each vehicle. And the ninth character is a check digit, calculated using a mathematical formula to verify the car's VIN authenticity. While ISO 3779 has created a global standard, individual countries may still incorporate unique elements into their VIN numbers. For example, the United States closely adheres to ISO 3779 standards, the European Union uses a similar system, Japan incorporates the JIS code, and Russia has its own individual format. In essence, the history of vehicle identification numbers reflects the evolution of the automotive industry itself. From the rudimentary car frame numbers of the past to the standardized 17-character alphanumeric VINs of today, this system has come a long way in improving vehicle traceability, safety, and regulatory compliance. So the next time you see a VIN on a vehicle, remember, it's not just a random set of characters. It's a key to unlocking the vehicle's history and identity. The VIN truly is the unique passport for every vehicle on the road today. In conclusion, we've journeyed through the world of vehicle identification numbers, their origins, their evolution, and their importance. We've seen how they act as a unique passport to a vehicle's history and identity. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video informative and interesting. Remember, each like, share, and comment helps us create more content like this. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you become a part of our community and you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.